Hey, good morning. It's uh, <laughs> March 9th, so we're going to read Proverbs 9, okay? Invitations of Wisdom and Folly Wisdom has built her house. She has set up its seven pillars. She has prepared her meat and mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servants, and she calls from the highest point of the city. Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, Come, eat my food, and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways, and you will live. Walk in the way of insight. Whoever incorrect, excuse me, whoever corrects, eh? Whoever corrects a mocker invites insult. Whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers, or they will hate you. Rebuke the wise, and they will love you. Instruct the wise, and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous, and they will add to their learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through wisdom your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house and on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, stolen water is sweet, food eaten in secret is delicious, but little do they know that the dead are there. That her guests are deep in the realm of dead. It's a short one. Short but sweet. Um, it's just more about obtaining wisdom, knowledge, you know, how and how the importance of it, you know. Like, if I knew that smoking gave me, this is an example, if I knew smoking gave me cancer and knew what it really did, I wouldn't have never started. You know what I mean? I knew that. But I'm just giving an example. Um, I can't think of something right now as far as in something that really happened. Um, let's say, oh yeah, any, oh yeah, I got a good example. Any like somebody who, um, let's say, owes me money. Let's just say somebody that owes me money doesn't respond to me, is ducking me, right? And then I gotta threaten them. You know what I mean? And I know what threatening can do. Been there, done that. But then I get a response, and like, oh, I'll pay you on such and such date. I owe you. And then he went and I said, dude, why don't you, you can just call me, and this can be avoided. You know, call me and communicate with me because you leave it up to my imagination to think what the fuck you doing. You know, like, what are you doing, bro? Dude, like, I don't hate you. If you see this, I don't hate you, bro. Like, you can call me. You can talk to me. Maybe you think I'm evil or something because of the way I reacted, but don't you think you did something wrong by lying to me and by lying big time? I don't like it when people lie to me, especially to my face. And then, like, you claim to be a believer, and I held you to that standard, bro. That's just all it was. I held you to a standard, just like people hold me to a standard. Like, I lost subscribers, too. I don't have many, but I lost a couple subscribers. Just because I uh, said that, you know, anybody who believes in, if you don't believe in Yeshua, that he died for your sins and rose on the third day, you will not be saved for when the time comes. You guys think you have to, you're going to live your whole life. You don't know. You don't know if you're going to walk out that door and fucking die. You know, or somebody's going to smoke you. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Like, I, that could happen to me any day. And I need to stop popping off on people because they're too much of a bitch to get out, but if they had a gun, I bet you they'd be real, they'll feel real powerful. You know what I mean? I had a gun pulled on me a few months ago, and I laughed in his face. I said, <laughs> dude, you think that gun scares me? I was like, on the real, you shouldn't pull it out unless you're gonna use it. You know what I mean? Seriously, don't pull out anybody who carries a gun. You know, be careful. Do not pull that gun out unless you're gonna pop somebody. Because that's the only reason it's there for. Protection. 
You know what I mean? I want one, but I can't. Because I have an F on my report card. And that means I'm a felon. So, uh, yeah, I can't carry a gun. But I will if I have to. You think I give a fuck? <laughs> if the time comes and shit popped off in our country? Shit. I, shit. Let's just say I got what, I'll get whatever I need. Whatever I need. I got the right connections in the right places for everything. Got good relationships with every, mostly everyone that I talk to. Yes, I mean, it's so awesome. They just being honest with somebody, and they love you for it. They do. They love you for, to, for being honest. You know, I have a lot of great one-on-one -on -one relationships with people. I really do, and you could too. And it's hard for me. Trust me, I like. Ask anybody who knows me, then they just know I fly off the handle. I'm crazy. You know what I mean? But it's ain't about me. It's about this. Is about you guys, honestly. I I care for the world, the people of the world, in general. I care for your soul. I really do. I want everybody to be in heaven when the time comes. I don't want anybody to suffer down there. It's not good down there. I mean, I don't mean down there. Like it will be a physical place. That's, that's so they say. Um, but I really believe like hell right now is above us because in the Bible it's saying like you know the, the angels going back and forth. You know God. I mean, you should, uh, excuse me. Satan is able to go back and forth. He's able to get to a certain point in heaven to talk to the Father. You know what I mean? He's able to. So so are the other fallen angels. They can only go so high though, if you know what I mean. But, uh, let me get off here. That's some deep stuff. But, uh, you guys have a great day. Um, let me pray real quick for someone. Um, <clears throat> Michelle, if you see this, I'm praying for you. Um, I see that you're saying you're so depressed. Uh, that's why I'm trying to give you my number and, uh, to talk to me. Besides, and you're all so hot. Sorry. <laughs> I can't help. That's a, another reason to, but no, nah, the main reason is just to talk to you, see if I can help you in any way. Um, but, uh, sorry, I'm talking to her at the same time. Lord God, I pray for Melissa that you comfort her, that you take her depression away. Lord God, please give her the confidence that she needs to get through day by day. I don't know what she's going through exactly, but I pray that you comfort her. And I pray for her to have good health, Lord God. In Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen. Um, if there's anybody else that want prayers, just let me know. I'll pray for you. Have a good day. God bless.